YouTube, it's Mike here back with another video. In this one, we're going to take a little bit of a trip out of the fish room. So I found a fish online, a buddy of mine sent me a picture of it that I just absolutely have to have. It's about an hour drive, but I got to go get it. So we're going to go get that in this video today. Before we jump into it, I ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that notification bell for notifications. And if you like the video, please like the video. Damn, I think I need him too. So I don't know if I'm gonna do like a whole tour of this store or if I'm just going to kind of show you the fish that I'm getting. I've never been there, so I don't know the quality of the store, how nice it is, what they've got, if they have a lot, um, even if they have a big fish section. I just don't know a lot about them. So. Uh, we'll see when we get there, but they do have one fish that a friend of mine sent me a photo of, and I saw it, and I was like, okay, I gotta go get it. So it's a little bit of a ride for me. It's like 45 minutes, close to an hour, actually. So I'm taking the ride just for the one fish, and we will see what we've got when we get there. Also, I did a poll on YouTube and kind of asked you guys what you guys want to see from the channel. like. Um, do you like just the usual fish room videos where I basically just update you guys on what I've been doing throughout the week? Or do you want me to get out more and do things like this? Um, this really isn't a fish room tour. It's not really what I was asking about in the, in the post, but it's uh, along the same lines. Do you like this kind of stuff where I'm out and about a little bit more? Because um, I can do this more often. Um, if, if I had to be honest, I like kind of just showing you guys what I do in the fish room. Um, that's what the point in the channel was. That's why I started it. It was kind of just to um, share my hobby with other people. I don't really try to be educational and um, a lot of the stuff I do is DIY, but I don't really try to say like, hey, this is how you do this, or um, this is the right way to do this particular thing. Like, this is how you build a tank. Um, I don't really do that on my channel. It's more just like, this is how I did it. So that's really been the point in the channel to begin with. However, I do have some plans to go out and especially I have some friends, uh, some Facebook friends with some nice fish rooms and some fellow YouTubers, some nice fish rooms. I want to tour you guys through their fish rooms. Um, maybe you are familiar with them already, maybe you are not, but I also want to get the experience, so I'll be doing some videos of other uh, of other fish keepers, and um, again, I can do some local fish stores too. Um, now, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of the local fish stores near me. I do a lot of online shopping, but there are some good ones. There's some that I've been going to for well over a decade now uh, that I do want to share with you guys. So you guys will be seeing that in the future. Uh, but if you haven't already, you can go to that post on YouTube in the community tab and you can uh, vote for what you'd like to see or you can let me know in the comments below. We're here, Falmouth Pet Center in Falmouth, Massachusetts. We're on Cape Cod. And uh, yeah, it looks like a small little pet store. Uh, maybe mostly on supplies, but let's see what we got when we get in there. So we've got a small fish section here, but pretty cool. Got some punk cichlids, some big silver dollars. Looks like the African cichlids. It's a nice little shop. Looks 
the lights off, but we got some more pike cichlids. Some nice ones. Small little shop, but cool. But anyway, guys, this is why we are here. This long nose gar. I saw him, and I absolutely have to have him. So we're going to pick this guy up. I really want this vampire tetra, too. It's pretty sick. But probably not. Probably not today. Axolotl. Oh, these guys look like they're ready to eat. Little baby clown knife. This is a hybrid with no eyes. Oh, oh it's so strange. He's got no eyes. Oh, damn. I think I need him, too. God damn it. I think I need that hybrid. I've never seen anything like that. He's got no eyes. Little flag tail? I've always wanted a flag tail. I don't know what these guys are. Let me know in the comments if you know what that guy is. Cool. There's a bunch of them. I don't know what those are. I've never seen those before. I like them though. Mixed in with a bunch of dwarf gourami. They got a bunch of cool stuff here. They really do. I'm pleasantly surprised for a small little fish section. They got a lot of oddballs, some unique stuff. I keep coming back to it. I keep coming back to this guy too. He's got no eyes. So the owner didn't want to be filmed. That's why I wasn't able to film all of catching him and everything like that but very, very nice people there, uh, very nice little shop, and it's mostly uh, dry goods and things like that, like food, pet supplies, but they do have a good little fish section, as you guys saw. So, got that long nose, uh, I'm estimating about 14 inches long, uh, super cool fish, really excited about it. I was tempted by a few others, especially that um, hybrid, without the eyes, but that's the last thing I need is another hybrid, so I decided to not do it. Plus, he's very small, so I'd have to set up a quarantine tank just for him, and I'm not really prepared for that, so I didn't want to do it. But anyway, great trip, great success, and we will see this guy when we get him home. So we got this guy back, and I'm going to quarantine him in with my new arrivals from last week. Uh, with the silver arowana, the alligator gar, and the jelly cat. This kind of works out perfect. So I'm going to drip him. I think the temperatures are a lot different. Uh, unfortunately, I think my tank's a lot colder than the tank he was in. I don't know how hot they were keeping him, but it seems like the temp was really warm. So I'm going to do a slow acclimation, and then we'll do some uh, footage of him once he's in. 
And as you see, I came very prepared. I brought a big monster bag for him. And I wanted to put him in a cooler, make sure he didn't hurt himself. Man, it is warm in there, though. It's really warm in there. Let's see. Eh, temps are actually not that, not that crazy, so not too different. All right, so we got the temperature of the tank the same. I did kind of a drip style where I just slowly added tank water into this. And now we're gonna move them over. I'm gonna shut the light off first. I need to get better net for times like this. Definitely freaked out, but I think he'll be okay. So he is definitely stressed out, but big move, big difference. He was in a relatively small tank. It was a uh, 33 gallon long, so only 12 inches wide. Couldn't even really turn around very well. So this is a big difference for him. It's another reason why I like to keep the lights off when I first introduce fish to a new tank. But I think he'll do just fine. Just gar are pretty tough. He just needs some time to settle in. Oh, and something I never showed you guys in the last video, I wanted to make sure this was arowana safe. So I used sponges and I filled all the little gaps and I even ran a sponge along the top of the divider here. So there was no chance of that arowana being able to get out from any little crevice of the lids and no chance of that arowana being able to jump the divider or get through the divider. So Pinky can't get to him. I think what I'm going to try to do with the arowana once he's out of quarantine is put him into the 300 with the cichlids. I think he'll be okay in here. I don't think anything will bother him. Um, there's a bunch of small fish in here and there's the tire track eel. The tire track eel is pretty sensitive and nothing bothers him. So I think I'm going to try to put him in here, keep an eye on it um, once he is out of quarantine. The alligator gar and this long nose I'm going to put into the 1500 again once they are done quarantining. I just want to deworm them basically. And yeah, I'll put them in with the rest of the gar. I think they'll do just fine in here. And the gator, again, long term, I'm not going to keep the gator, but for now, until either I find it a home or until it gets big enough, I'm going to put it into the 1500 first. Once it reaches about 18 inches to 24 inches, I'll move it over to the 1100 if I still have it that long. Um, Again, that depends on if its previous owner wants to come back and get any of those fish. He's, again, welcome to come grab them anytime. But I do not want to keep the gator long term. I will grow them out in the 1500, though. So that is it for this video, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I'll definitely be doing updates on the new long nose gar. And I can't wait to put them in here and add them to the other group of gar. Um, 
So I'm excited about that. I'll be doing updates shortly on him and everything else as time goes on. Um, until the next video, I ask you guys again, please comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Off the Deep End Aquatics, and I will see you in the next video.